Hello everyone, I'm Aranima from Knit and Otter and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the Tunisian lattice stitch. Um, I already have this Tunisian foundation row which uh, is made with 14 stitches so I'm not going to go over that in this video. I have a separate tutorial for that which you're welcome to check out. I'm going to add a link to it in the description below but uh, I'm just going to start working uh, the lattice stitch in this tutorial. So you need to start with um, picking up the next two vertical bars. So the vertical bar of the two next two stitches, like it's as if making a simple stitch decrease. So you pick one and two and then yarn over, pull through both. So that is a Tunisian simple stitch decrease. But what you do now is you'd make a simple stitch in that first bar so you pick just that one and yarn over, pull through. So you see that makes a little X over there. So I'm going to continue uh, doing this and show you again. So pick the next two vertical bars, yarn over, pull through both. So that's a decrease. And then insert your hook into that first vertical bar and then yarn over, pull through one. So I'm going to keep doing this until the end of the row. And so the lattice stitch is a two row repeat where these X's are offset. So I'm going to show you how that is done. After I complete this row, I'm going to make the next one and show you how that one will be made. So that's the fourth set. the sixth and that last stitch and then yarn over pull through two uh so chain one chain one yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning that's the regular return pass So that's how it's looking after the end of the first row. So that's a bunch of X's, X stitches. And now for the next row, um, the X stitches are going to be offset. So we start with one simple stitch in the first one here. And then we do what we did here. So pick the next two vertical bars, yarn over, pull through, and then pick that the first one again and yarn over pull through. So I'm going to do this till the end of this row until I have two stitches left. And I will have two stitches left because there'll be that one edge stitch and one more stitch because we, we offset these stitches in this row. And here we are. So no, no, these are the last two stitches. So this is the edge stitch and there's this one more stitch. So we're just going to make a simple stitch here. And then the edge stitch or the last stitch here. And yarn over chain one and then yarn over pull through to make a regular return pass. So here, that's how it is. You can see the offset, offset X stitches. So this here in this row and in the second row. So I'm going to make a few more rows so you can see the pattern more clearly. So now this one will be a repeat of the first row. And uh, so this one, I call this the foundation row, then the first row and the second row. So this one now that I'm making will be a repeat of this first row, the one that we made after the foundation row. So you just start with picking the vertical bar of the two stitches. So no uh, TSA, no simple stitch to begin with. Just start with the decrease and then that makes that first stitch. And 
and then the edge stitch or the last stitch and then chain one and yarn over pull through two So that's after foundation row plus three rows and I'm going to make a repeat of row two. So foundation one, two. So repeat of row two again after this. So this is, um, we start with a simple stitch and then decrease and the first one, a simple stitch in that first stitch. Decrease and then a simple stitch in that first stitch of the that decrease. And then we have this last two stitches, so the edge stitch and this one lone simple stitch. So I'm going to make a, a, a lone vertical bar. I'm going to make a simple stitch in this and then the last stitch or the edge stitch. And then make the return pass just like I normally would. And here this is how it's looking so it's a nice very very pretty pattern so I'm going to go ahead and make a few more rows show you how it looks in a larger swatch and I'll see you on the other side of this video this is how it's looking after um, a few rows I've made uh, a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven rows including the foundation row so foundation plus ten and this is how it's looking it's got this beautiful lattice pattern at the top and uh, if you turn it around it's it's not too bad it's it's nice and clean at the back as well so it's a very it's a very simple pattern but it creates such a such a pretty fabric um, that's pretty much it for this stitch um, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and I have a bunch of other tutorials so uh, feel free to check them out and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you can receive notifications for any future uh, videos that I may post uh, thank you for watching bye bye